Indians, and they actually Indian, but you know the Indians in denial. Yeah? <laughs> really, really Indians in denial. Um, you can't blame them actually because Indians have had a bad rap in Malaysia. Yeah, uh, Indians, uh, what do you call it? Uh, robbery, gangsterism, all Indians, right? Every Chinese mother or grandmother has told the kids, if you are not I will call up to and to come and take you. <laughs> so this has been ingrained in the Chinese community. I stepped into an elevator and women stepped back, pulled their hand back close. Yeah, this is what happens. Lah. So it's okay. But some Indians even went further. You know what they did? They became lawyers. <laughs> some of them went even further, became doctors. If that's not scary enough, enough some of them are even stand-up comedians. <laughs> So I went for an Indian, uh, I went for a business seminar, yeah, how to do business uh, with India. And uh, yeah, seriously, I, I also want to learn right how to do business. India is a one billion community, yeah. So, um, so I went for this seminar and the, the speakers on stage were saying Yenara, Yenara. And I don't understand Tamil, so I asked the guy next to me, excuse me, but uh, what is Yenara? He's like, sorry? So Yenara, they keep saying it. It's NRI, <laughs> non resident Indian, you know, the ones who got away. So, okay, so even the Indians don't want to be Indian, yeah? I'm actually Sinhalese. Yeah, all the Chinese are thinking Singh, right? They want to be the turban. Yeah? Okay, Singhs are Punjabi. Yes, they are Indian, okay? I'm Sinhalese. My motherland is uh, Sri Lanka. Yeah, it's a whole different country. I know you're thinking Salonis. Salonis also, Indian city Okay? And uh, uh, it's difficult for me. It's hard not being Indian. Yeah, I... I I think uh, about six, seven years ago, being a cross-cultural couple uh, started to become trendy. Yeah, um, I like uh, I like Chinese women. Yeah, no sari, no curry, no mulungatani. Yeah. Mulungatani is an Indian soup. Okay. And uh, Chinese women, they like the Chinese food. Chinese women like Chinese food. Um, best when hot, smooth, efficient, and uh, expensive. <laughs> but so worth it. Okay. So it's difficult for me. Uh, I don't speak Tamil. I don't, Tamil's not even in my, my genetic pool. Yeah? It's not a language that's spoken in, in the family. So um, actually, we don't even speak Sinhalese. Yeah? So we speak English at home. Um, but so it's difficult for me to go to an Indian restaurant. I mean, sometimes you get these banana leaf cravings, right? I want to do some hardcore banana leaf action. So yeah, it's true. Yeah? Sunday morning after the hangover, yeah? Recovery. So. <laughs> Yes, I'm the color, so I drink. Yeah, so <laughs> it's allowed. Yeah. So anyway, so yeah, so you, I want to do brand leaves. So I have to call some Indian friends. Say, you know, go brand leaves, huh? Yeah, because I need someone to help me with the ordering. Yeah. Yeah. Because when I walk into a banana leaf restaurant, the waiters will launch at me in Tamil. Blah, 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 and with a head wobble, I could have come and said, I've seen this Yeah, It's a whole different language to me. Yeah, and, and it's hard if I get there first and my friend's not there. So I'm sitting down with a leaf in front of me and I don't know what to order. I'm just waiting. Yeah, the basics I know. They'll put all the, the, the veggies and stuff, but I don't know the names of the veggies. You know what I mean? Okay, so, yeah. Then my friend shows up. Now it's okay if my friend's Indian, I'm forgiven because he'll start ordering everything in Tamil or whatever, hunky dory. But if my friend's Chinese, yeah, <laughs> the waiter's gonna look at me like, oh, so you don't like Indians, eh? Yeah. <laughs> and then sometimes when they launch at me when I first come in, you know, blah, 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 stuff, yeah, I've, I've learned one phrase, you know, I've learned one phrase in Tamil, nam Tamil teri which basically means I don't understand Tamil. And he looks at me and it's like, oh, you lying piece of. <clears throat> you understand? So because Indians don't trust Indians. <laughs> so he thinks I'm pretending not to be Indian, and my Chinese friend shows up, oh, so you don't like Indians, huh? <laughs> Okay, so then the ordering's done and so on, and then Vijay gets his banana leaf and all the veggies and everything. Okay, that's great. I'll ask for cutlery. <laughs> yeah? I don't eat with my hands because I don't want to smell my lunch six times before dinner, right? <laughs> okay? And uh, so to me, uh, uh, that's, that's already tough, yeah? It's even harder if I take my Chinese girlfriend, the two of us girl, right? And we'll go to an Indian banana leaf restaurant, and we're staring at the menu trying to figure this out. Indian waiters look at me, oh, so you don't like being Indian. Someone bring my Chinese you know? <laughs> Okay, now, there's a term for this in the Indians, in, in, in Tamil, sorry. It's called karapusutu vela karan, yeah? Which, which is a black-ass white fella. I'm using the word fella because it's polite, yeah? So, yeah, black-ass white fella is basically accusing me of pretending to be white 
right? Just because I've got a non-Indian girlfriend, you know, you forgot your roots and stuff like that. Yeah, but it's okay in the Chinese community. You know what happens? When a Chinese person doesn't speak Chinese, I mean, the yellow in color, yeah, okay? They don't speak Chinese, <coughs> speak English with an accent, yeah? Uh, they call banana, right? Banana is a badge of honor these days, yeah? Really? Yeah, if you're a banana, you're probably living Bangsa, Desa Sumatama, eh, sorry, there's Hartamas, Desa Park City, yeah? You wear Birkenstock, yeah? You drink wine, yeah? Aircon has to be cold, because it reminds you of home. Yeah, you've been eating for like six months, yeah? But it's okay, yeah? So, yeah, those are banana, huh? Yeah, so banana, you can hear when the bananas are talking, you know, in Starbucks or Vivian, you know, they'll, they'll say, yeah, of course, my parents speak to me. They'll speak to me in Cantonese, but I'll understand, I'll, 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 I understand, but I'll reply in English. Yeah? So that's how bananas are. And then, I know, I know you're thinking I'm an Oreo, right? Oreo is just cookies, yeah? But I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not an Oreo. I figured it out, okay? I'm brown on the outside and yellow on the inside. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm a potato. Okay. So anyway, it's hard not being Indian, but you know what's hard these days? Getting a job. Yeah? How many of you have been for job interviews? Can I hear some noise? Yeah. You didn't like the interview, right? <laughs> okay, probably didn't get the job. So anyway, so when you go for a job interview, uh, did you guys tell the truth? Make some noise if you told the truth? Okay, those that did make, make that made some noise, yeah, they're the liars. <laughs> at least the rest of you were honest. I mean, we all know you have to lie in a job interview, right? Don't worry, even they are lying when they interview you. Because they tell you about the company and everything's great, right? You know, that kind of thing. So, personally, I feel the job interview is like a speed date. Anybody know? Okay, you all don't know what speed dating is, right? Or pretending not to know. So anyway, so it's like speed dating. You're there, you want to see them, you want to have a conversation, you're trying to sell, you're trying to build a relationship and hopefully this will go further. Same thing with them. Yeah, they're evaluating, assessing, asking questions, waiting for answers and see if there's a relationship that can happen, right? So, I went for a job interview recently, you know the usual, like you see a job you like in the online or whatever and then you send your CV and then you get shortlisted, not because of right, uh, but you're shortlisted anyway, yeah, so then, uh, you go for the interview, like I went for the interview all dressed up and everything. I uh, got there early, <coughs> so they showed me into the room. Pretty young Chinese woman. <laughs> okay, and uh, I saw on the table, and as I'm walking in, I saw my CD on the table. So, okay, introductions, yeah, I'm VJ. Well, I miss Lee, yeah. Okay, cool. So I sit down, and uh, Miss Lee uh, proceeds to tell me about the company. <coughs> uh, the vision, <coughs> the company vision, the mission, and then led to total confusion. Yeah, because I don't think, I mean, I don't know what the company is doing by now. I don't think she does either. Okay? So, uh, then she asked me, um, So, can you tell me a little bit about yourself? And I'm thinking, I mean, she's got my CV in front of her, right? You know how long it took me to copy paste that CV, you know? <laughs> Luckily, I'm smart. I took out the white fella's picture. Otherwise, I'm pretty tan for a white man. Yeah? And um, so she asked me, so can you tell me a little bit about yourself? Seeing as she's got my CV, I decided I'm going to launch with my Tinder profile. <laughs> so I decided to tell her this. I said, well, actually, uh, um, I like to travel. Yeah? Uh, I like uh, food and I love music. Oh, really? Yeah, you like to travel, uh, BJ? Uh, where do you travel to? Uh? Uh, well, I've traveled to Penang, yeah? I've been to Ipoh, Ipoh also quite recently, yeah? I've been to Klang, yeah, I went to Klang a couple of times, and I've also been to Blacker. Oh, you don't travel overseas, ah? Uh? I said, no, uh, my current paycheck is like, hey, just do it. Now everyone else gets to fly. <laughs> okay? Then she said, uh, uh, so, uh, Vijay, uh, what are your strengths, ah? Uh? My strengths. Oh, okay, well, um, I'm actually very observant, yeah, and I'm loyal. I'm observant. I, when I came in just now, I saw your pantry a lot of pretty girls. I mean, sorry, got a lot of uh, uh, got coffee, got coffee, good coffee, yeah, not any coffee, got Nescafe Gold, yeah, got tea, good tea, yeah, got Lipton, yeah. And then, like, unlike other companies, I know this is a good company, I want to work here because you actually got Milo. Most people have a water cooler, right? Okay, so then she asked me, uh, 
so you said you are loyal so yeah yeah i'm actually loyal to my 37 facebook followers yeah last week got 39 but i think my parents are following my sister <laughs> and uh and she asked me uh what about uh your weaknesses uh? what about your weaknesses uh, Jay? i said um well actually if i don't have lunch i'm pretty weak <laughs> And of course, with uh, pretty girls, short skirt, high heels, also get very weak. Yeah. And uh, then she asked me, uh, So, Vijay, why do you want to work here? Uh? Mm, because your internet is faster than mine. Uh, right? <laughs> you are not using Unify. Uh? And then um, uh, I said, uh, Because uh, this office got aircon. Uh? My mother doesn't let me turn on the aircon at home unless it's really hot and I've had three cold showers. Yeah, so, okay. Then she asked me, you know, the usual interview question, so where do you see yourself in five years? And I looked at her and said, Miss Lee, I didn't come for a fortune teller job. <laughs> but if I can see one week, I buy numbers, oh. if I can see one month, I buy stocks. And if I can see one year, I buy property. Or for one hour, right? Ha <laughs> ha very funny. Huh? <laughs> so, then she asked me, so do you have any questions for me? So I asked her, mostly are you single? Uh? <laughs> so ladies and gentlemen, I don't think they'll be calling anytime soon. <laughs> so I'll start to make that up, yeah. Uh, have you thought about, I look at the room, a bit older crowd here, have you all thought about death? I know it's a morbid topic, right? But you all know you're going to die, eh? Is anybody here doesn't plan on dying? Okay, cool. So you don't want to die, but let me tell you, bro, you are going to. Yeah. So I had some morbid thoughts after the interview. Yeah, I was thinking about that, and I said, I said so, uh, To me, it was like, okay, so I'm going to die. Yeah, but I've been thinking about it. Most religions tell you about heaven, 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 and hell, right? Yes? You all haven't been to religious anything? Okay, most religions, okay, in case you haven't been, let me tell you. Most religions will sell a heaven and tell you about hell. And I'm wondering, maybe there already is a system we don't know, right? We're Asian, right? We all believe in ghosts, isn't it? Okay, somebody you know knows somebody who's seen a ghost. <laughs> okay, we're Asian, don't pretend lah. So anyway, yeah, I know it's English, but hey. Okay, so, but, so, um, we know about ghosts and, and the question then is, so there are going to be many ghosts. Is there a ghost, sir? You know, you die, you're a heaven reject, hell reject, and then there's a hantu ghost. Yeah, selamat datang sudah tu. Yeah, okay hari ini kita ada khusus jadi hantu. Yeah, okay, you rambut panjang, okay you boleh jadi pontianak. Okay Melayu you boleh jadi uh, orang minyak, orang minyak juga ada orang minyak. And then uh, okay look at me. I know Toyo. I figured this out too. Okay. But I, I I guess okay whatever lah, you know. There's going to be the gursus. After the gursus, I don't know if there's a lot of Malay first, maybe it's three months. Chinese first, maybe three days. Indian first, no show up, so it's okay. <laughs> Indian first, sleep one, right? So anyway, then. See, I can be racist because when I fill up a form in Malaysia, I'm on the line, like, yeah? So, okay, I'm safe. Um, I can't join AMNO, MIC, MC, so also cannot. Yeah? So, anyway, DAP, lah, huh? <laughs> But so, okay, back to this uh, hantu gursus thing, lah. So after the courses, then they give you assignment, yeah? Okay, so, uh, you guys, uh, you all Malay fellas all, okay? You all can go and be orang minyak the nearby kampung. Uh, Chinese, okay, Chinese, uh, Chinese for hopping zombie, what jiang si? Yeah, hopping zombie, right? Okay. Hopping zombie is this, you know, hop, hop, hop to eat people, correct? Huh? Figure this out, huh? They hop, hop, you run, run, the guy don't eat, isn't it? True or not? So Chinese got remedy for this. After 11 months, they got one month of Hungry Ghost Festival. True or not? So that's when all the ghosts get to eat, isn't it? Okay. If you're a Malay ghost during uh, Chinese Hungry Ghost Festival, how? Non halal. What's <laughs> that? Right. Right. So let's come back to me being a Toyo. Yeah? If I'm going to be a Toyo, whatever. La. I know I'm going to go international. Yeah? I've got scores to settle with a lot of people. For Despacito, I'm going to go and look for Justin Bieber. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to boo the person. Yeah? And then, uh, I also want to go get, uh, what's his name? Uh? In the White House, 
Donald Trump. Yeah, I want to toy with that fella. Yeah, three o'clock in the morning, he's going to the bathroom and woo! That's me. Yeah, welcome to Malaysia. Okay. And uh, maybe I'll go and do this uh, Ed Sheeran, Sam Smith. Just go and scare a few of the celebrities. Uh, let's see if they can write a song about Hantu. Yeah? Okay, if they don't allow me, my, my, my qualification doesn't allow international. Yeah? Okay, if I'm stuck to local, you know I'm going to go to Putrajaya. Uh, and ladies and gentlemen, I don't want to be a, a local crappy ghost. I don't want to be the ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah? I want to be a hardcore, you know? You're gonna die. <laughs> that kind of goes, alright? That's my time. Thank you.